So um, the variation from this one, from the back pick, okay, um, you see it's a very like simple back pick. Everyone can apply from white to black belt, very simple. And now we're just gonna show the same technique, but also with a transition to to armbar, okay, from the back. I think this one was one of my favorite technique, especially when I cannot find a way to, you know, grab the collar to go for the cross show from the back. I wanna try to, you know, to go for the armbar from the back, okay. So again, we're gonna start here again in the same position here, okay? Same position, opposite lapel, okay? Grab the pants, sweep the base here with your, with your leg deep, bring your knee deep inside. You're gonna bring his hip towards your hips, okay? You're gonna sit up, okay? That's the sit up you have to do. I have to make sure I wanna be always behind his back. In my head always above the head, don't forget that. Okay, so now put my first hook. Okay, now let me show you a little bit. I want to bring it to that side here. Okay, I want to apply my, my seat belt. Okay, and then stay here. Okay, when I stay here, of course, you're going to always bring the hand close to me because you want to protect the neck. Okay, if you want to protect the neck, I can start to always use my hand to hold the wrist. Let's go. I'm here. He's already fighting here with my hands. He's already here already to hold the wrist or the palm of the hand. Because if I control the wrist, he can just push his hand down and break the grip. Oh. Just push up. Oh. Ahí. See? If I hold the wrist, do again. You're going to break the grip. If I hold the palm of the hands like this, you know, it's gonna be really hard. Now it's in, it's in my control. Of course, if, if I try to go for, for the collar here, I'm gonna hold with, with this hand here. I don't want this, I just wanna make sure I'll be able to pass my hand behind the neck, creating this space here with my elbow, okay? And then now I'm gonna start to adjust my Kimura try. I'm gonna hold the wrist, okay, with my left hand. And I'll let it go to the palm of the hand and connect the Kimura. When I have the Kimura here, I start to open, okay, my leg. That was like a hook. So I'm gonna bring it over the head and start to go for the arm. Of course, I'm gonna keep holding tight here, but once I go for the arm here, I'm gonna just push and sit up at the same time. I'm gonna push, and then here I start to adjust and go for the with it on the finish. Okay? So, one more time. You here, on the back position here, always hold something here, don't keep your hands on the ground. Hold, bring him towards your hips. Hook one, move Moving to the side, with the second hook, stay there. Sit belt really tight here, you see? Now I'm gonna move in my hands. Cup with your fingers, go inside here, grab the, the palm of the hands, keep it tight. Now let it go, for the gun to keep you hold the wrist, just bring it out and cross behind the neck. Now hold the wrist and go for the Kimura trap from the back. That's gonna be my grip here. There's no way for him to escape. Now I'm gonna take one, one hook out, you're gonna pass over his head. I'm gonna do this. Now I'm gonna bounce. You're gonna set up the same time. Okay. And then here's how to go. The wrist, back, and finish. You know, like I said, everyone can apply from the back, from white to black. But remember to always maintain the city belt really tight and always try to hold the palm of the head, because this control is gonna make the whole different in the techniques. If you don't hold this and hold the wrist, they're gonna always escape. Hold the palm and keep the control. That's gonna be the, the same position for you to transition the other hands to the camera trap. And then from there, you can decide to go for the 